Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve the system of equations by using the Kramer's rule. To do so, we need matrices. Firstly, we let A be the coefficient matrix. For the unknown x, we have coefficient 4, 7, 3 for the equation 1, 2, 3 respectively. So we write it here 4, 7, 3. For unknown y, we have 3, 1. Unfortunately, for the third equation, we do have the unknown y, which means that the coefficient is equal to 0. So we write it here 3, 1, 0. And for the unknown z, we have minus 2, 0, 1. So we write it here minus 2, 0, and 1. Also, we need a constant matrix. So we let b be equal to the right hand side. So we have 5, 5, and 5. Four. Next is to first determine the determinant of matrix A. To make the calculation easier, I'm going to duplicate the first two columns. So we should have 4, 7, 3, 3, 1, 0, minus 2, 0, 1. And the duplication should put at the back 4, 7, 3, 3, 1, 0. And next, let's calculate. What we have to do here is first is to move from the left down to the right and what we have to do here is multiply the numbers so we have 4 times 1 times 1 which is equal to 4 and next we have 3 times 0 times 3 which is 0 minus 2 times 7 times 0 which is 0 for those that move from left to right we plus together next we move from right down to the left so we have 3 times 7 times 1 which is 21 4 times 0 times 0, 0. Minus 2 times 1 times 3, minus 6. And for those move from right to left, we minus. So which means that this is equal to negative 11. Next is to determine the determinant for the corresponding unknown. For unknown x, since the coefficients are all placed in the first column, which means that we should use matrix B and replace with the first column of matrix A. So in other words, the corresponding matrix for x is equal to 5, 5, 4, and the rest will remain exactly the same. 3, 1, 0, minus 2, 0, 1, and we cannot determine the determinant. Also, duplicate the first two columns, so we have 5, 5, 4, followed by 3, 1, 0. By using the same method, so again, left to right, so we have 5 times 1 times 1, which is 5. 3, 0, 4, 0. Minus 2, 5, 0, 0. Again, left to right plus together. And now we can move from right to left. So we have 3, 5, 1, 15. 5, 0, 0, 0. Minus 2, 1, 4, minus 8. For right to left, we minus. So which means that this is equal to minus 2. Next, for unknown y where the coefficients are placed at the second column, so this time we should replace the second column. So which means that we should have 4, 7, 3, now replace the second column with the constant matrix 5, 5, 4, and followed by the third column remain exactly the same, minus 2, 0, 1, and we duplicate the first two columns, so we have 4, 7, 3, 5, 5, and we can now determine the determinant by using the same method. So we have 4, 5, 1, 20, 5, 0, 3, 0, minus 2, 7, 4, minus 56, 5, 7, 1, 35, 4, 0, 4, 0, minus 2, 5, 3, minus 30. So left to right plus right to left minus, and this is equal to negative 41. Lastly, for the unknown z, and this time we should replace the third column. So we have 4, 7, 3, 3, 1, 0, replaced with 5, 5, 4. Also, duplicate the first two columns, 4, 7, 3, 3, 1, 0. And we can now determine the determinant of this matrix by using the same method. Also, from left to right, we have 4, 1, 4, which is 16, 3, 5, 3, which is 45, 5, 7, 0, 0, followed by right to left, we have 3, 7, 4, which is 84, 4, 5, 0, 0, 5, 1, 3, 15, left to right, plus right to left, 
minus and this is equal to negative 38. With all the determinants, we are now be able to solve for the unknowns for x is equal to the determinant of the corresponding matrix divided by the determinant of the coefficient matrix, which is equal to minus 2 over minus 11. Negative, negative, positive. So we have 2 over 11. And for the unknown y, by using the same formula, we have minus 41 divided by minus 11, which is equal to 41 over 11. And for z, we have minus 38 divided by minus 11, which is equal to 38 divided by 11. And hence, we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.